Getting accurate roof measurements is important for a variety of applications, including construction projects, damage assessment, estimating reshingling costs, or even estimating costs for a solar panel installation. RoofSnap and Drone Deploy are two powerful programs capable of using drone imagery to provide accurate measurements of rooftops. But which is better? and which should you use for your project. In this video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about RoofSnap and Drone Deploy. We'll go through the features of each, talk about the pros and cons, and provide you with the information you need to make your decision. The basic difference between RoofSnap and Drone Deploy is that RoofSnap is specialized for the roofing industry, while Drone Deploy is better suited for construction projects. RoofSnap includes features for labeling ridges, hips, valleys, rakes, and eaves, adding in the pitch of facets, and generating detailed estimates with different roof shingles, siding materials, and services already built into the program. It can even function as a back-end project management tool for your business. Drone Deploy, on the other hand, is optimized for construction sites. It allows you to generate automated flight paths, create up-to-date and high-resolution orthomosaic maps and 3D models, see progress reports, and calculate distance, area, or volume. These distance and area calculation tools make Drone Deploy suitable for measuring roofs. They include measurements for surface length and surface area, allowing you to measure the sloped surfaces of your roof. To better understand the differences between RoofSnap and Drone Deploy, let's take a look at the process for getting roof measurements for each. First, let's dive into RoofSnap. You begin by creating a project, entering an address, and choosing from a selection of photos. RoofSnap uses a service called NearMap to provide their imagery. NearMap updates their imagery database about six times per year, and the resolution ranges from about 5.8 centimeters per pixel to 7.5 centimeters per pixel. You can also upload your own image, whether it's a blueprint or a drone photo for a higher resolution map. This can help you make more accurate measurements. However, you will need to perform at least one on-site measurement or have an object of a known length in the photo to properly set the scale. With your image selected, you can then rotate it so the eaves and ridges of your roof line up with the guidelines. Next, you will use the draw tool to trace out the different sections of your roof. RoofSnap makes this easy with vertical and horizontal guides and a snap feature that will snap your cursor into alignment or to a previously plotted point. You can draw labeled lines, or you can draw unlabeled lines and then go to the edges section to add labels to each segment. My biggest gripe with the draw tool is that you cannot reposition points after you have plotted them. On drone deploy, you can do this easily, but on roof snap, you are forced to delete your line and try again. After your roof sections are drawn and labeled, you use the facets tab to add the pitch to each facet. This is essential for getting accurate roof measurements. It allows roof snap to correct for the slope of a surface. It also means you will need to know the pitch of each facet on your roof. Drone Deploy, on the other hand, will provide you with the surface length and slope when you measure distance, so you don't need to know anything about your roof to get measurements. If roof snap doesn't recognize your facets correctly, then you're gonna have to go back, delete certain segments, and try drawing them again. If you'd like to skip this process and save yourself some time, RoofSnap sells what they call snaps. Starting at $9 for roofs under 20 square feet, you can have one of RoofSnap's technicians carefully generate a sketch of your roof for you and upload it to your account, typically in just a few hours. And whether you do it yourself or pay a technician, RoofSnap comes to life when you have your sketch complete. It allows you to generate a detailed report which contains an overview of your project, a pitch diagram, a measurements diagram, total line, category, and pitch measurements, along with an area and waste calculation for a reshingling project, and finally, an area diagram. This report can be incredibly useful for a variety of projects and applications. Also, when your sketch is complete, you can use the estimate section to add materials and services to the project. RoofSnap will use the area calculations from your sketch to help you quickly and easily generate quotes. Other tabs within the RoofSnap interface can be useful for managing projects, again, making RoofSnap more optimized for companies operating in the roofing industry. Drone Deploy will generate similarly useful reports but the process is entirely different for getting there. First, you create a new project, enter your address, and confirm the location. Then, you create a new map plan. This generates an automated flight path for your drone to capture imagery of your site. And yes, with Drone Deploy, you do need to capture your own imagery. 
there is no option to use pre-existing images like there is with RoofSnap. Getting your own imagery does provide advantages though. You get more accurate, up-to-date images of your site and Drone Deploy's image processing generates a high resolution map, up to 0.5 inches per pixel. This is noticeably sharper than the near map images used by RoofSnap. To get measurements on your new orthomosaic map, all you do is come over to the distance, area, and volume tools and draw a line or sketch an area around the part of the roof you want to measure. What's amazing is again, Drone Deploy can use data from the drone to understand surface length and surface area, which is also how it generates a 3D model. The biggest downside to Drone Deploy is how frustrating it is to plot points. When you click and drag to reposition the map, you will accidentally plot a point and have to undo your action. There are also no guides to align measurements or points, and despite the higher resolution, you will still end up with overlapping lines. Roof Snap's snap feature was extremely helpful, although I do give Drone Deploy credit for allowing me to reposition my points. It'll also be up to you to choose how to color code and label each of your measurements. When all your distances and areas are drawn out, you come over to the Reports tab to view your report. Drone Deploy will generate a detailed report of your project, including all the distance, area, and volume measurements on your map. Drone Deploy also offers an app marketplace, and one notable app is the Roof Report app. Similar to RoofSnap's sketch ordering service, Roof Report allows you to outsource the measuring of your roof to another company. Pricing ranges from $20 for a small residential building up to $95 for a large commercial rooftop. At the end of the day, the tool that's best for you will depend on your use case. RoofSnap is clearly superior for those operating exclusively in the roofing industry. They provide a tremendous amount of tools for properly labeling your roof, generating accurate estimates, and you are required to have data about the pitch of your roof to get accurate measurements. RoofSnap can also function as a back-end project management tool, again, making it ideal for companies specializing in the roofing industry. Drone Deploy, on the other hand, tends to be better suited for construction projects. Getting updated and high-resolution drone imagery allows you to see exactly what your construction site is like without having to rely on near map for potentially outdated images. Again, the resolution is sharper, and the added data from the drone allows you to measure surface length and surface area without having to know the measurements of your roof. The distance, area, and volume tools can also be used to measure other aspects of your project. Construction firms may benefit from these added features and overall may find Drone Deploy better suited for their needs. So that wraps up this video comparing RoofSnap with Drone Deploy. Again, check the video description for a link to an article going into greater detail and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.